Good luck. Alright. Here, one of our viewers, Swamp Dog, has challenged us uh, to a five minute game uh, rated on uh, 81 Dojo. Or rather, he challenged me to play, and I asked, like, would you prefer to play on this site, prefer to play on Shogi Wars? And we both wanted to play on 81 Dojo. It's a great site. You can do analysis easily here. Um, so we're going to uh, play a game and see how it goes. Try to learn something from it and try to do better next game. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to play my rook over here because that's where I like to put my rook. Let's put the king over somewhere safer. There we go. My king is slightly safe here. Um. Just a bit nervous about that. Um, eh, let's, let's oppose that. Why not? It's perhaps a waste of time to push this so early. Oh, I think I did wish them good luck. I think they're wishing me the same. Let me double check if I did remember to do that. I did. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, they're reminding me that they have... Uh, silenced my stream so I can feel free to chat here. Nice. Um, so, let's see. I've done this before, and then I bring up the silver and back the bishop, and I don't lose the game this way. This is a really common shape. Admittedly, this silver suggests they want a quick attack on the bishop's head. And I don't know what best to do against that. Um, hang on, there's a critical moment here. So they've not defended this bishop. This rook is not defended either. This is a blitz game, but jeez, I'm... Hmm. You know what I want to do here. Um, it's extremely inappropriate for me to open this, but... Oh man, how do I resist? All right, we're going to take this path. I cannot resist temptation. It's too much. Um, so do I take the rook or the knight? This tries to keep things together. So if I push this pawn, threatening this bishop drop, or if I drop the bishop first, they move the silver, my attack runs out quickly now. Um, so I will expand my rook's attack here. Yeah, you're true. You're right that with the Bioyomi, it's not at all the same thing as Shogi Wars. Um, yeah, it's a bit slower of a blitz thing, and yet I'm still playing extremely hastily. For example, I pushed this pawn and forgot that I don't have a pawn in hand. Um, so that would be a very hasty move on my part. I thought I was going to get the pawn back. I might be right, but should I have been right? I don't think so. Oh. 
Pontex, 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 Pontex. Yeah, this looked too interesting. We're just going to do it. But I think we both misread something pretty fundamental here. Um, so there we go. I take my rook. Um, now if I take their rook, like I could consider conceivably silver takes here. They promote, I don't really have a continuation, do I? But in some alternate universe, I might have a continuation there. Yeah, we're just going to take the rook. Um, so now they have attacking moves. All right, so we try to attack while they don't have as much to defend with. My king is still not as well defended as it could be. I could have... oh. Wow. That's a cool tactic. Uh... Huh. Okay. So I wanted to block this check. I, s I think I still do. All right, so I block this check, and they can take my promoted pawn, and their rook promotes and defends their king. That is cool. I wonder if I have an equally cool counter here. I could sack my rook, king takes, bishop drop. And then promote over here, and I have nothing to follow it up with. For one move, that looks really cool. And then after that, it's not so great. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to retreat instead. And this is going to be a tough fight. Yeah, they took away my best attack with my rook on this back rank. I really like that attack. So I keep considering this bishop drop because, like, there's a lot at stake there. Um, hmm. Interesting. All right, so my dragon is active once more. Now if they bring the dragon back, I just take it. So they're not going to bring the dragon back here. Um, Maybe they're going to do something awesome and crazy and drop a bishop here. 
Um, didn't think so. All right, so they do have one bishop to attack with. YOLO! <laughs> that's safe, right? Um, that's a fun one to do in time pressure. But it's totally safe, right? I mean, what, what could possibly be wrong with this bishop drop? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not managing my time pressure well. I mean, I thought maybe I drop a silver here instead, and I thought that helps them defend too much. Oh, okay. Uh... Wow. I don't have much of an attack here, do I? Alright. I think this slows their attack. I might have misread that. Details actually do matter. Yeah, I'm not managing this time pressure. Oh shit, I could have taken this. I should have taken this. Well, no, because then the dragon's right next to my king. It's not necessarily best to have taken it. Um... That doesn't do anything. Jupio. Not sure if I missed a minute. Yeah, I'm not sure if I Jupio Nijubio Ich Ni San Shiko Lok Shit Hat Q Jupio
10秒。10秒。Well played. Thanks for the game. Nicely done. So yeah, my current rank on the site is 2 down. We'll see how long that lasts. My opponent's current rank is uh, 1 down. And yeah, they seem to be playing well. Um, uh, contrarily, perhaps uh, my opening... I don't know. A lot happened this game, um, so we could take a look. Um, I don't know if they prefer to analyze with text through Twitch or just look at the game this way. I think I'm fine either way. Um, like I mentioned, this pawn move early in the game uh, probably may or may not be the best use of a tempo, but yeah, so then we decided to go on this crazy attack. Um, which is probably fine. I still think I stand by that, like, I don't think this loses the game by itself. This pawn push, um, yeah, I forgot here that I don't have a pawn in hand, so if this is taken, I don't get to, like, drop and hit this right away. So, I kind of forgot about that. Um, yeah. Uh, got I lack a pawn, um, so otherwise this might make a little bit of sense. This is pretty rough here. Um, yeah. And then here we exchange rooks. I drop the rook. They come up with this very nice fork. And this highlights a lot of things that are flawed about my position. So maybe I should be bringing a piece back. Maybe I should drop a pawn over here. My king should be one more over to the right, and my silver one up, and we'd call that half mino. I don't have half mino here, so I improvised a castle. They attacked very quickly. Um, and I thought for the most part... Like, my defense was somewhat reasonable. 57-1 king. Now, does this hold? My... Maybe in time pressure I missed something here. This holds. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. I could hand over the host if that helps. Oh, the sacrifice? Wow. Um, 7-2 silver mates. Okay, but yeah, I guess the point of contention was that this king 7-1 was a better try, and that against uh, the sack, yeah, I guess I'd just take this, right? So, King 7 1 was a better try. Um, but against this, we just take it and we take that. There's stuff to take. Um, not sure what the point is here. But yeah, if the game had resulted this way from my playing King 7 1, that would be amazing. But yeah, I credit my opponent with being able to find this stuff and sort it out, even in time pressure. Which I was in, I don't think he was in for a while. But yeah, I walked into a mate. So maybe I hastily sped through the earlier annotations, I don't know. There... I probably missed a lot of things, as I tend to in Blitz. But yeah, clearly um, our opponent um, dominated here. Yeah, taking on uh, yeah, taking on five three just straight up loses a move. Yeah, so um, it would have been smarter to take the silver directly. Um, uh, 
I forgot that I should be taking this and like I'd had that all planned and then when the moment came I was just so astounded that we ended up here. That's possible I could still be lost after I take this, but the whole plan was to take that. And if I'd stuck with the plan, uh, we might have seen a better outcome. Um, yeah, so in Blitz games, it's important to pace yourself. I know with 30 second Biryami in 5 minutes, it can be really intense, and you can uh, mismanage your time, but you need to spend those 30 seconds... Yeah, so they, yeah, they should be taking this here. Um, let's see. Yeah, after this bishop drop. I mean, they could move this, I move that. But yeah, taking this silver uh, is the way to go here. Um, so, or at least it's a reasonable way to proceed. This is how I thought things were going to go. And I thought my position... I didn't know. This, to me, is highly unclear. Um, it's either won or lost, and I don't know which. But it's probably lost, because I don't know. Um, so consequently, um, when I did this bishop drop, maybe I should have gone with my original idea, which was the silver drop here. Uh, if king takes, then I saw this, then I saw this as a possibility, and that I have no mate here. And at this point I panicked and said, well, okay, I don't want this variation anymore. Um, but maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes, I am definitely threatening a gold general here. I mean, maybe his point is that it, this might also be playable for them. Is there could be multiple refutations to this? Um, I don't know. But I thought I needed the silver in order for my attack to succeed. So that's why I dropped the bishop. Um, can't even type. Um, so I thought that my attack was far swifter than their attack. Um, yeah. I guess in time pressure, any effort I made at counting might have been combated by hearing the count. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just playing impulsively, as I tend to do. It's not suiting me well in serious games. Okay, yeah, so this uh, promoted pawn, this token here, on 4 1, is just such a monster. I shouldn't enter like this. Okay. That answers that question then. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess that's right. It's just, uh, it's an enormous difference, and I didn't think it was at all. Um, but it is. And they played this attack very well. And it shows. So... Yeah, as Transport says, and he said like 10 minutes ago, Alexi's shaking his head right now. It's like, I entered this endgame. Or this isn't even an endgame. This, this is semi-I. It's a capture race. It's a chase to see who can get the opponent's king first. Um, it's a mutual attack. And um, in this situation, I my attack is extremely slow. Theirs is medium paced, and I just vastly overestimated what I have here. So, um, yeah, it helps not just being able to read short term things, but evaluating long term propositions, like who's better here and why. 
And like every time I'm trying to evaluate the major stuff on the board, I'm also getting distracted by, well, what if they take this? What if I drop something? What if I tried to take this? What if I tried to take that? What if I sack here? What if I get distracted very easily? And my opponent just uh, played a very nice, strong attack. Crashed through. Um, sure, they burned a tempo even, and still uh, we're crushing it. Yeah. So once you understand the macroscopic thing that's going on here, um, once you understand that I shouldn't enter this race, then you can back up and see at what point did we commit to playing such a race. And this is where we committed. This is where we said, oh yeah, we can handle this. This is fun. This is fine. Let's do it. And it's quite difficult. It's not anywhere near as easy as I tried to make it look. Now, is it lost? No, it's not lost. Like, there's other stuff I can try. Even within the Night Takes lines, there's other stuff. I've had a game months ago where I took it back with the Rook. Um, that's also of some merit. But yeah, entering this race prematurely was a terrible idea. So, yeah, they want to exchange bishops typically. And typically, like, they've been built this nice dumpling in the center of the board that really seals their king in. So if I could just have a successful attack in the corner, then I would have a nice game. But I don't have a successful attack. And they do. Um, yeah, so... Lexi points out that if I'm really committed to playing this way, um, yeah, I could still try to oppose the rook here, since my opponent didn't break through right away. Well, they couldn't have, so yeah, um, this is still an attempt to hold things together. If I wanted the bishop exchange, even though it's typically bad and here it's not great, at best, it's not great. It's probably still bad to do this bishop exchange. Um, it's really useful for the static rook player to do that because there's so many weaknesses in this corner. There's so much empty space, and I've not completed my castle yet. Yeah, so to make this playable, um, we intend to move this up here next. And this defends against the rook. This defends against the bishop. I can survive this um, if I'm patient. So, yeah, I guess uh, thanks, Alexi, for the high level explanation as to what's going on here. Patience seems to be a challenge for me. I don't know why, but um, maybe I just get really excited about these situations. But that's definitely a character flaw. It shows up in the ratings. It makes for some exciting games either way, but... Yeah, perhaps some viewers would find games more exciting if I didn't throw them every time. I'm not trying to throw. I'm just too excited. I don't know. Either way, I hope we enjoy it. That, uh, thanks, uh, Swamp Dog, for the game, and Alexi for assistance with the post-game analysis.